Hey, welcome to another SH Figure Arts figure unboxing. Uh, this time I've got the Kula. As you can see right here, it says Kuda without the elongated er form. Uh, the Kula final form figure um, known as, uh, well, I mean, just Kula. From uh, I ordered this from Premium Bandai. Um, he was uh, quite a pretty penny as these Premium Bandai things seem to continue to be ah uh, it's uh it's frustrating well anyways without further ado you see i've got some other figures here on the tenkaichi budokai set uh we've got of course a cyan raised on earth goku we've got fourth form frieza and we've got the original movie eight broly here um just some kind of figures that i own that uh if you have this kula you might also own and you might, uh, you know, want to have an idea of how big he's going to be for, for your shelf compared to some of these other figures. Of course, uh, this Kula figure was a limited run, but, you know, they might start bringing some of these things back in the future. Yeah, you never know. Maybe they made too much. Who knows? If you go to conventions, you know, the, the world is opening back up. If you go to conventions, you might be able to find some of these things. So let's go ahead and take Frieza off the table here. They are coming out with a new uh, version of that Frieza. He's going to be one of the quote-unquote discount figures at a 35 price point. They've released this Broly like three times now. So if you kind of missed out on Broly, mm, you might he might actually be done now. They might uh, have to come up with a new form for him. But I almost figured that with you know Dragon Ball Super Hero coming around the corner, they're going to be focusing on making... Broly figures from that movie and uh, this guy seems to always be in reprint now that I have this Kula I almost do want to get the Kaioken version of this which I never did so uh, you know this is a good fig this is a great fig they keep reusing the buck though so you know whatever that's what we call uh, the body form that when it gets reused they reuse the buck so as you could see you, you've been able to tell already this thing's freaking huge uh, I've already done the cut here. You see this tape. And let's go ahead and take him out here. So uh, he's giant. Let's make sure we take the instructions out of the back here. They always come hidden in the back. Let's take those, place those right there on the on the arena set. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got the coolest body, his big beefy tail. His big meaty feet. So he's got his regular meaty feet here. And then he's got his feet here for, I don't know, I guess when he's like kicking or if he's standing up on one foot on something. And we'll talk more about these feet here in a second because I'm sure they're going to be great. So he's got different hands. He's got pointy hands. He's got kind of grabby hands. And he's got kind of more like I'm shooting a blast hands, you know, so like this versus this, you know. Think about that. Uh, so really all of your hand needs are met here. What's interesting here is that he comes with, uh, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. He comes with another face that he has for like approximately four frames in the movie. Okay, so let's see if we can't get a focus on that here. Look at that. Uh, pretty soon right after he transforms, he kind of masks up and that's gone. So... Uh, I really like this look, you know, especially if we never end up getting fourth form Kula. Uh, it is kind of cool that we got this. Haha, <laughs> cool. Right. Gonna, I'm going to be saying cool a lot in this, so just kind of get over it. I think uh, that's going to be the best way for both of us. So let's take him out. Ooh, he is huge. All right. So let's kind of now hold on. Things are precarious here because my dog is in the room. And I've put some stuff in her bed, so still weren't on the right camera. There we go. And so he's just really well balanced. He's look at his feet here. Okay, so that's something strange you see molded. So you know, like in the palm of my hand, right? I've got what do you call these palm lines or whatever. He's got them too in his feet, and I think that's the first time I've seen this in one of these figures. Of course, if I really think about it, it's just Frieza that has would have this kind of situation, but um, he has it too. I mean, that's really cool. So he's got articulation here. Uh, you know, he's got this. You know, these can move up and down as needed. Head movement, 
every which way you could want. You know, he can do the, he can lean back, and he's going to fall, but he can do that. Let's take this out here. This is the kind of plastic they use to prevent, usually to prevent, like, paint transfer. But, I mean, that's like purple on purple, so I'm not sure what the... what they're wanting from that. All right, so let's kind of get him in a cool, like he's ready to fight pose. Okay, so he's like, ah, Goku. He's ready. Let's get both feet on the ground there. Perfect. All right, let's put the tail on him and see how this kind of affects it. So this tail, again, this is just a beefy figure and this tail is more of that. And the same, it's got a little joint here in the middle. So you can kind of turn it, swivel it, whichever way you might want for his tail to go. And then you got all sorts of range of motion in here. Turn that as well. Uh, no motion in the little nub bit on the end, but, you know, that's fine. Okay, so let's pop that in. Pop that in, I said. All right, once more with feeling. There we go. All right. Always be careful with Japanese toys because Japanese toys are very frail. They just are, man. It's just the way it is. Okay, so I can tell you right now the downside to this guy is he's going to take up a lot of space on whatever shelf you put him on. But, man, he is huge. And he's great. He's got pretty good, um, pretty good uh, balance here because he's not falling. Of course, I've kind of... Oh, oh kind of accounted for that a little bit so this tail like comes back up uh, this is all helped by the fact that his feet are so huge now if I wanted to put this face on him let's go ahead and just do that let's take a look at the instructions here guys alright that's page one let's take a look at page two okay so page two is telling us to pop his crown off and then uh, oh we gotta pop the whole head off here okay so this is a whole head situation okay so let's pop the head off again always be careful with your Japanese collectibles guys cannot you know what I'm just gonna leave this head on him uh, you can guys can uh, you'll figure that out for yourself <laughs> when the time comes however you want to do that with Kula okay so now comes the time where we talk about how how does he stand up literally against some other figures here. So let's put him. I'm gonna have to kind of scrub through movie five and find like what are the what's the cool <laughs> I told you. Cool cool poses. And kind of maybe sample from that. So here he is next to Goku. Huge, right? Um that's about approximate the kind of scale you're gonna see in that movie. The way I like to think about Dragon Ball and scale is that Dragon Ball really has no scale. Yeah, there are model sheets. Like, there's specifically that one I see floating around that's, like, for the Boo arc, where it does show everyone kind of in uh, in correlation to each other. But I like to think of scale in Dragon Ball as more of something like a suggestion. So, it's like, these are what we suggest, whereabouts your your scale should be. But you don't necessarily have to adhere to that. And then let's take a look at him with Frieza. Of course, Frieza is appropriately small. He's in his fourth form. Kula, always here. Uh, here in his fifth and final form, as it is called. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so this uh, technique, actually, in the guidebooks is referred to just as his fourth transformation. Really no sense of finality there. I think maybe the guidebooks were trying to account for um, the whole metal cooler uh, character form that he has in movie six and so for to call this his final transformation maybe not so appropriate considering he becomes a big getty star so uh, we're going to move frieza out of the way here because his stand takes up a lot of room and we need a lot of room for this the baddest boy some might say in all of dragon ball that's broly the legendary super saiyan super saiyan uh, berserk or whatever you want to call Kale's form. So here he is, the two movie bros. Really, these are the only two movie figures that we've gotten so far that aren't from 
the Broly movie, uh, like the <clears throat> Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, let's say that, or uh, a Resurrection F technically, or Battle of Gods. But you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Movies that haven't been adapted into the series or like directly connected to the series, these kind of stand on their own. And I think these are definitely the two most iconic movie characters. Uh, you know how much of a fan of that word I am. So I would really like to see coming up next, uh, Janemba uh, in his in his final form. I really don't want the big yellow Janemba. I would also like to see Metal Kula or just regular form, fourth form Kula. You know, we've got Kula's henchmen. What are their names? Nays. Salza and the other guy, Thouser, whatever the third guy's name is, the the big guy with the helmet. And, uh, of course, we got Bojack and Bojack's men. I could see Tullus just around the corner. Tullus seems like an easy easy way to go, considering you have the head already done pretty much. You don't. There's not that much you'd have to do for a, a Tullus. Tulla, well, but that's not necessarily true. You'd have to do the whole body. But a lot of these iconic movie characters, Garlic Jr., you know, Garlic Jr. in his big buff form, maybe he'd also come with a small one. But I think as far as, like, the two most iconic characters, I mean, these are the only two that have multiple movies where they're the the central villains of. You know, Broly's got his three movies. Though technically, you could argue, I think the third is, isn't the one in Bio Broly. Isn't he, like, actually a clone that then turns into the big poop monster? So two, three, and then, of course, Kula has his two movies. But a uh, fantastic figure, uh, you know, off screen, I'm going to get more into how I'm going to pose him, but uh, he's huge. He's awesome. Uh, not quite as big as Broly, but you really want Broly to be the biggest boy in the street. And then you've got Kula here, still as formidable and tiny baby Frieza. You know, that's a, that's appropriate. Of course, Frieza's in the foreground here in the shot, so he's looking a little bit bigger, but Goku here. You know, now Goku looks bigger with Frieza. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been another uh, Dragon Ball figure unboxing. I think we've got Bulma around the corner in January. I uh, also met with Super Saiyan 4 Goku coming out soon. Really looking forward to that. Uh, the GT line, you know, is something that's been untapped for a long time in just the, like, the general action figure market. There have been some in the Dragon Star Dragon Stars line, but you really only see GT anymore in the Ban Presto stuff that they do, where and that's all stiff figurines. So, for figure arts to kind of come uh, out the gates with Super Saiyan Four Goku, that's awesome, you know. And then, of course, what does that mean down the line? It means like Baby, uh, the Dragons, Super uh, Super Seventeen. So just a lot of cool figures that come Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and then and then Gogeta. I think that's uh, GT. You know, I'm not the biggest GT fan in the world. I, I like it well enough. But uh, I think that's going to be a line I don't c collect. You know, famous last words. That's going to be a line I don't collect everything from. But definitely I'm getting Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I would want Baby. Um, I would want Super Yishin Ron. Uh, so stuff like that. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll hit you next time in January with Bulma, uh, hopefully, unless she gets delayed for uh, another round, Bulma and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Well, I hope you, everyone has a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and whatever you do, and uh, you take care. Goodbye. <laughs>